Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about the White Rain 24 hour extra hold hairspray. I have it unscented and it is for, it says for longer, stronger hold humidity protection. I have it in a fairly small bottle so this is more like a, tr it's maybe bigger than like a normal travel trial size but it's 4 fluid ounces so it is nice if you're going on like a longer vacation like a couple of weeks this is nice because it'll last you the whole time but it's also not too big to where you can easily throw it in a suitcase or a weekend or like a bag or something like that it's an aerosol can so it's a spray not like a pump spray bottle so just another thing to note and see on the back you've got just some more information about it long lasting natural looking hold fly away and frizz control it's paraben free and gluten free and then you've got your directions hold which is pretty much the same for like any other aerosol can hairspray hold the can upright 10 to 12 inches from hair and spray evenly if dispenser clogs remove button and rinse in warm water um, it is flammable because it is an aerosol can and it says that this product has not been tested on animals so that's always something that's nice to know I in the USA uh, the can is recyclable once it's empty so I um, do like this hairspray as far as for the hold I don't know that I get a 24 hour hold but it does work pretty well it does however you have to be careful when applying it because it says to do 12 10 to 12 inches and you really have to follow that rule because if you do it way too close to your hair your hair is going to get really crunchy i've made that mistake before my hair is just so hard and not touchable the entire day which is not my personal goal for my hair so that's just an, uh, something to be aware of is that you really do want to follow the directions when it says to like hold it 12 inches away from your hair because then it's just going to make your hair really really hard and then the next day it's still going to be hard so maybe the 24 hour hold actually is true the next morning it's going to be still hard which is just going to make it difficult to brush your hair you will like have to wash your hair in order to and wet your hair in order to get it to move again so i mean but i do like like it for like if i'm doing like a really tight slicked back bun like a ballerina bun or something that i need it all of my flyaways to like not be there and i just need it super super slicked back this is really great for that the extra hold is going to make it last all day with no flyaways and i usually will just when I do a tight bun like that, I'll put my, pull my bun back as tight as I possibly can, tie it, and then spray some of this and use a comb to get those flyaways back after spraying. And then after I go in with the comb to brush those flyaways back, I'll go in again with the hairspray uh, just to make sure that it stays like that. And that usually works really, really well for me. So I'll go ahead and open this tray. It's just a regular aerosol can. There's not really much to it. Your little arrow. It's pretty typical. Every aerosol can looks like this. It says that you can remove this button to unclog this if it gets clogged and it comes off really easily. There you go, stick it back on. And I'm just gonna close this back up. So it says that it's unscented, but nothing is ever really truly unscented, right? So it does have a scent to it. The scent, honestly, kind of reminds me of like little old ladies that like, maybe that I'm like wrong for saying this, I don't know. But like little old ladies with like white hair that have like super, super strong perfume on. That's kind of what the scent reminds me of. For that reason, I don't use this every single day because I prefer something with like a nicer, fruitier scent rather than a super strong, perfumey scent, which is what this is. Even though it says unscented, it's not really unscented. It still has a smell, a scent to it, and it's very strong. 
maybe it says unscented because it's not like floral or fruity or things like that but it is pretty strong it's a very distinct smell that i wish i could describe better but i just i don't know how to describe the smell the scent so that's as good as that description of the scent is gonna get also I have to be careful with using too much of this because i've noticed that on days where I leave my hair curly and I like go all in with this, it like towards the roots in my scalp, it causes like, like it'll turn white and flaky which will make it look like you have dandruff so just be really careful when applying this. Just like the biggest thing is just don't apply it too close to your hair. Like have it, like hold the bottle farther, the can farther away and don't overuse because overuse and holding it too close is what's going to cause your hair to be extremely hard extremely crunchy and it's also going to cause like those white flakes making it look like dandruff and that's just like not cool but i mean overall this is a really good basic hairspray especially for those with really like frizzy hair this is gonna work pretty well for you so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this video.